Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Lionel Tech Lead and partner at Westfall. How to use the fields and we're going to use the sections uh, to create and change this stuff. So you can see here, I have a bunch of um, uh, what do you call a template that have been built in and then we have some logos going left and right over here and what I want to do right is I want to use the field thing to kind of swap in there so let me do it now okay so on the left hand side here right you see I can have a whole bunch of these logos kind of scrolling around and this is what it looks like on the right left hand side um, there's a scroll there and uh, what we're going to do is just change this by creating a field. So let's do that first. Uh, you're going to just basically go to the back end. So a very interesting combination of uh, what you call, just come over here. We're going to go to settings. We are going to create a field and we're going to put that field in the home page because that's where it appears. And this field will be a uh, let's call this the brands uh, brand logos okay and uh, you don't need this because it's quite easy to understand and you can probably train the thing it's a bunch of assets um, and we'll put it in the home and then we'll just call this the brand so I've already created this asset area and this home uh, area uh, basically you're trying to tell them what folder in the local to put in and then later on if you want to go to remote you want to use AWS or digital ocean spaces which I do you can set that in so so easy to do that I'm very happy about that minimum around of relations is how many you can put in so you can see uh, down there there used to be one or two logos so let's put one and uh, maximum say nine in there and list mode just how you want to see it selection label uh, on the input don't really care too much about that so that's fine a uh, home brands that's fine uh, default instru instructions this this is for the brands on the home page okay we're gonna save that okay brand logo and then we're gonna go to settings again and we're going to add it into the sections. So what this is doing is just telling uh, our system that we want to handle this in there. So we have top three circles and then the brands. Okay, so now we're in business. We've got this home thing. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click onto the home. And I can just make sure everything's correct on the section type. Let's go to the sections. Make sure it's set. Okay, then I'm gonna to go to entries. Entries is kind of like content. I've realized that that's like their version of content. So you go to home, and now we have brand here. Upload file, and I'm gonna upload the Craft CMS logo, and that's done. Over here, just check that it's there. Okay, good, great, good. Uh, let's just call this uh, Craft CMS. Okay, we can use that title again and it will save it, right? So once that's done, we're going to save this because this will say you have unsaved uh, changes. Pretty cool, right? That it actually like a preview the page. We're going to actually view the page. Okay, so we've got this part over here and I've decided, okay, let's change this. So what you're going to do is go set, let's say logos. Uh, as equal to entry dot uh, whatever that thing is called so we call it brand logos uh, I usually can't remember what uh, they are so what I will do is I will just go into the settings right and then go and look at the fields again so they're called brand logos I'm gonna copy that it's a cool little uh, feature they have dot um, then I'm gonna get my Okay, so I'm going to get entry brand logos all because there's a whole bunch of them. And then I guess what we'll have to do, right, is we're going to loop through them. So um, their loop is something like for logos, uh, for logo in logos. And then uh, one thing you have to do with this, right, is like you have to um, 
every line you have to use a, another one of these things. This is Twig, right? And every line you have to do that. <laughs> you, there's no line breaks in this. So all we have to do is just go, uh, okay, let's see this is Webflow. Let's just get the title, okay? Let's just keep it simple first. Let's just get the title before I get an image here. So uh, this is here. I'm going to say, let's get the title. So uh, logo.title. Okay, and then this is N4. Cool, so we've, we're basically just adding the titles to the thing. So uh, then we just save this, and then we just take a look over here and see whether it works. You see Craft CMS appearing down there and over this stuff. So let's delete this, then it's a little bit more clear. Okay, and press the reload button. So take a look on the right hand side, right? You can see that now there's only one craft CMS there. Let's zoom that in there. Can I zoom that? Yep, you can see. The craft CMS is kind of like rotating over there. And the next thing we want to do is of course pop that logo in there. So what is that? That's basically just a logo uh, up here. So you get to work uh, with um, just with HTML, you don't actually have to do anything too fancy. So let's call this, uh, I always call it image URL. That seems to be my thing. So logo dot, uh, I think it's puff. Hang on a second, let me take a look at it. Okay, it's called get URL. Get URL without a transformation. So. Now we've got this, we can just put this in here and say image URL. And we can add some classes, uh, image fluid. Uh, and then maybe you want to just put a div over here. Uh, that's div class equal da da. And that should basically put that logo over there. Whoa, that's cool, man, but it's really big. So what we can do is you can apply a transformation onto it. Uh, oh, you guys can't see it. That's it, that's, that's a logo floating over there. So what we can do is maybe we'll just shrink this to, uh, you know, you, you can just put style with, uh, let's say 200 pixel. And you can just press that that's really small or if you really want let's make it 100 pixels maximum just fix that so cool you see that logo there and then maybe they don't want this so or let's do it in, in twig this I think twigs better like it's cleaner okay guys so that's it for today that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.